I'm Dr. Monica Pansari. I'm a senior surgical oncologist in PGS Glen Eagles Global Hospital. I mainly deal with the breast and gynec cancers and also peritoneal surface malignancies. So uh, I would want to discuss about one patient from Bangladesh which we had uh, treated recently and she has gone home hale and hearty. Uh, she had uh, a middle-aged lady, she was uh, having multiple peritoneal deposits, uh, disseminated disease all over the abdomen. Uh, twice she was biopsied in different hospitals and both the times they have uh, found the report as inconclusive or as uh, one report said that it is a benign tumour. Now we were having a diagnostic challenge and dilemma that both the biopsies have turned out to be negative but clinically and radiologically the presentation was of more of a malignant disease. So we explained everything to the patient, evaluated her completely by doing endoscopy, colonoscopy, PET CT scan, complete evaluation was done and then we decided to go ahead with surgery, we call it a cytoreduction surgery. So we planned surgery, as the patient was quite fit, we challenged her to a major cytoreduction surgery. We Clinically, we thought that it is going to be epithelial ovarian cancer, but when we did, when we took her for surgery, explored her abdomen, there was an extensive disseminated peritoneal disease where there were multiple cancer deposits all over the peritoneum, uh, bowel, omentum, pouch of Douglas, entire abdominal cavity. So we took a small lesion, sent it for frozen section, and then we found out that it is more of a spindle cell tumor, more likely to be a spindle cell tumor with some malignant transformation. So we decided to go ahead with complete cytoreduction where we removed the entire disease. We did total peritonectomy, total omentectomy, uh, hysterectomy with removal of both the ovaries, uh, entire peritoneum over the bladder, rectum, everything. So we received and then in the process she received, she had to undergo bowel resection also. So there were two places where we had to uh, resect the bowel as well. Uh, entire procedure she withstood quite well. Some, we say something called as R0 resection where there is no visible gross abdominal disease in the patient. So that is what we achieved. Uh, patient did quite well post-operatively and then we discharged the patient on post-op day 8. And final biopsy report turned out to be something which is a very rare entity. Disseminated peritoneal leomyomatosis with sarcomatous transformation. Our patient is doing very fine and now we are planning to start her on adjuvant treatment.